What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a long overdue video. Uh, I've been telling you guys for a while now that I was going to do a standalone video on how I install those little LCD screens in some of my builds, so here it is. Uh, now, I have to say this is not an original idea of mine. Uh, I took the idea from Stuart with GGF LAN parties or LAN events, I forget the exact name of the channel, but uh, anyway, he's, he's one of my favorite system builders. Uh, he's in Australia somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and link his channel in the description because if you guys are not following his channel, uh, you're missing out on some amazing content. He does ridiculous builds. Uh, but anyway, he uses these little LCD screens in uh, a lot of his builds, so um, that's kind of where I got the idea from. And although he, to my knowledge, hasn't really posted a full tutorial on you know, how he does it. He's talked about it a few times, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do mine. Um, there may be some other ones floating around on the internet, but uh, uh, the first time I did it was in the Silver Fox build back in May, uh, if you guys remember that. And the reason I installed it in that build was because uh, Kayla, the person that received the PC, she's really big into doing her own graphic design. Uh, so I thought it would be really neat for her to have the panel um, built into the PC where she could kind of make her own graphics and sort of give her an opportunity to customize um, the PC or change it around whenever she felt like it. Um, but I would say the most common use for these screens is people like to use them to display uh, their statistics like you know CPU temperatures, graphics card temperatures, that sort of thing, uh, which is a really neat way to use it. Um, but Realistically, it's just an extra monitor, so you can kind of use it for whatever you want. You can show your uh, friends list for Steam or you know Twitch chat or whatever the heck you want to do. Um, it's 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 really up to you. Now, first, I'm going to run through the list of parts you guys are going to need to make this work. And to make it easy, I'll go ahead and link them in the description. These are just what I used. These are not the only parts that will work. You'll find when you start looking at this stuff that. Um, every part's essentially interchangeable, and there's a lot of different options for the little screens. Uh, you'll kind of have to do your own research on that. If you don't feel like doing that, just use what I used. It works just fine. Uh, really, it's going to be up to you. So we're starting off with the 5-inch LCD panel. As you can see, I've got HDMI as well as micro USB input. Some of the panels are powered through the HDMI cable. This one needs a micro USB to power it, so I've got USB-A to micro USB cable. For a clean installation, I use an internal USB 2.0 adapter so I can plug it directly into the motherboard on the inside. Uh, obviously, we need our HDMI cable. You're going to want to just pick a length that's going to work for you. And then optional, you can use one of these uh, angled adapters for HDMI, which can make the installation a little bit easier in some situations. So now let's take a look at the panel installed in the system. So this is the View 31 build that I did. Uh, you guys can check out previous videos where I did the build logs. Uh, but what I've got going on here is, uh, as I usually do, I've got the acrylic panels. I simply took this panel here, cut out the size of the screen, and then uh, I'll be able to show you in some B-roll. I basically just built up the sides behind it with um, more acrylic so that I could fit the screen in there snug and then I actually just use painters tape you won't be able to see it but painters tape peels off real easily but it actually has pretty good hold but that's what I use to just hold this in so what you're looking at here is I just took the little panel from the cam software and drug it over onto this monitor uh, as I mentioned before this just works as a second monitor so uh, you're gonna set it up like you would any other second monitor and use it however you want now the best way, if you want to display your PC stats, the best way to do this is actually use IDA64 and create a custom panel. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now because there's quite a bit to it. It's not necessarily difficult to do, it's just time consuming. Unfortunately, IDA64 is not cooperating with this PC for whatever reason, wasn't reading the sensors right. I'm not really sure why, but um, anyway, so I just I, I just use cam and drug it over here, and it works fine. It's not as clean of a look, and as you can see, you can sort of see the desktop showing up on here. Um, but, you know, it serves the purpose nonetheless. 
Uh, probably can't necessarily show. You can see where the uh, that adapter is plugged in back here for the USB 2.0, and then I've got the HDMI cable running out the back. I just cut a section out of one of the uh, I/O covers there and then ran it through and then plugged it into the graphics card. So that's how uh, you're going to be using it as a second monitor. So yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. The trickiest part with all of this is figuring out how you're going to mount it. Um, you know, I'm pretty familiar with working with these acrylic panels, so it's a pretty easy process for me. However, um, if this isn't something you're going to want to tackle, you're just going to have to figure out a different way to mount this but I think the cleanest way is to cut an opening in some sort of panel whether it's a piece of acrylic or uh, a part of the case or whatever whatever you're using uh, and then mounting it behind so that you can hide the internal bezels and that sort of thing but again that's probably going to be the most tricky part of this entire process um, but yeah that's uh, that's a look at it installed and there you have it guys, as you can see this is a relatively inexpensive and easy way to do a really cool mod to your build. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I will see you guys in the next video.